Creative Cajun Cooking, maker of Magic Swamp Dust presents the Outdoor Kitchen Show, where we'll head outdoors for some Louisiana food and fun. We'll show you some great recipes, meet some great people, and pass a good time in the great outdoors. So come on, and let's see what's cooking on the Outdoor Kitchen Show! Today on the Outdoor Kitchen Show, we're doing a bunch of outtakes. We're starting with some mangrove snapper fishing in the Gulf, and then me and my sister are going to cook up that fish in my kitchen and get a little silly while doing it. If you can handle the humor, stay tuned to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Gator pickles, sweet and spicy pickles made with magic swamp dust seasoning. This poor gator had to go all the way to the swamp to get these tasty morsels but you can find them on the shelf at your local grocery or online at creativecajuncooking.com. Gator pickles are made right here in South Louisiana with a sweet heat and a crunch that can't be beat. Use them for anything. Chop them up in your tater salad, put them on your sandwiches or hamburgers for the bite that slips up on you. Gator pickles, get you some today. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Nothing elevates the beauty and value of a home like natural stone. Ascension Granite Marble offers quality stone for kitchens, baths, and businesses. Mined from exotic global locations, granite has its own personality, marble its own richness, and quartz can be anything you imagine. Ascension Granite is more than a showroom. Choose your slab in the stone yard and it will be carved, polished, and perfected on site. Ascension Granite and Marble in Gonzales, 644-2231 or ascensiongranite.com. Hey, this is Elvis with Defend It. I want to show you a new product that we have. It's a secret compartment table. You can store your valuables or firearms in. It's able to hold rifles or multiple pistols. Basically what we got is there's a secret compartment shelf. When closed, it's locked. To unlock it, you need this rare earth magnet. And all you have to do is just to push. The secret compartment shelf is going to open. Light comes on for 20 seconds, allowing you to retrieve whatever weapon or valuables you may have stored in there. It's your home. It's your family. Defend it. Hi, I'm Paul Salvant with the Bugman Professional Pest Control, and it's game day, baby. Today on the Outdoor Kitchen Show, we're going to have some fun. We're starting out now in Grand Isle, catching some snapper with Wesley Babin, but the guys got some nice snapper, but only got two fish on camera. So we're going to have to do a lot of cooking, and we're going to leave in all the outtakes. Ah, come on out of there, baby. Got to get them out of that rig. That's a nice mangrove there. Get the net. I don't know where the net's at. It's in that cabin right there. Give me them plier things. Here. I had them in my hand. Don't want to lose this big booger here. Come on, man. That's what we were looking for. Sure. Took me a minute to figure them out. But uh, really nice mangrove here. All right, Sean, we're gonna get you on something now. All right, beautiful mangrove out here in Grand Isle, fishing with the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Well, Sean started it off early. We caught a couple small mangroves. Uh, he was skunking Franklin and I. We couldn't seem to get anything on the hook, but I was enjoying watching Joe catch him. If he catches them all day long, I'll be glad because I just enjoy being out here watching people enjoy themselves. Sean, uh, you're up next. Uh oh. Sean! <laughs> sure. I knew they were here. It's kind of hard to film, work a boat time on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Just don't fall overboard with the camera. A little difficult day today. Oh, I got a fight with the, the weather, the 
the wind, the wind's going the opposite way of the current. Having a hard time staying off the rig, but we're catching a few nice mangroves. I think that's the third one of showing today. There you go. He got locked jaw. <laughs> snap, snap, snap. That's why they call them snappers. Snap, snap, snap. All right. What do you mean? Let's get either, it off. Either kiss him or put him in the box so we can oh, catch him on. No huh? That's the way you fight. You got to get on him and just mm, 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 keep him out of the rig. You don't ever want to do this again, do you? This is what I get a kick out of, bringing them young ones offshore and watching them catch some of the fish. It's like catching a 10 pound brim on a cane pole. <laughs> All right, we're here at Island Time. Got a good group of friends here. Uh, we had a good offshore trip today. Uh, Sean's offshore, uh, first offshore trip. Caught him some mangrove snapper, had a really good time. Coming back here to the camp and Got a good boil going, as you can see. Plenty of crab and shrimp for everybody. Uh, just wanna send a shout out to my wife, Mary. She uh, did a lot to make this put together uh, happen. And she's not able to be here today, but uh, she'll be able to spend a lot more time with me coming uh, soon here down at the camp. So look forward to spending a lot more time with my wife, Mary, and all of our good friends. Uh, the Outdoor Kitchen Show and Creative Cajun Cooking. Ho down, throw down, Dungeness crab, snow crab, king crab, stone crab claws, and fresh gulf shrimp. All right here, brought to you by creativecajuncooking.com. When we come back from the break, we'll be cooking up that snapper and showing you how not to film a cooking show here on the Outdoor Kitchen Show. When a recipe tells you to ask your butcher for help, who do you trust? Ralph's Market. They have the highest quality meats and trained butchers on staff that can custom cut at no extra charge. Or try their ready to cook stuffed chicken and chops, or their take home hot deli plates. Whether it's gourmet or everyday, come to Ralph's Market at Gonzales, Jones Creek, or Pelican Point. The market you trust for the best quality, selection, and local friendly service. Get on the Bugman's plan. Rest easy in a pest-free environment. Call 923-BUGS. Follow my plan. Call the bug man. Follow the bug man's plan. Call 923-BUGS. The Louisiana Wildlife Federation is the oldest nonprofit conservation group in Louisiana, formed by sportsmen in 1940 to protect your right to access and enjoy healthy fisheries and wildlife habitats statewide. LWF represents the voice of Louisiana's outdoors, both in the field and at the Capitol. LWF also supports the Vanishing Paradise campaign that advocates for critical restoration in the Delta and on the coast. Speak up for our state. Become an LWF member today. Gorman Brothers Appliances on Airline in Prairieville. When ordinary just won't do. When you fire up your pot for a good gumbo, you ought to know the secret of Marie LeBeau. She has a season and that's a must. Made in Louisiana, it's magic swan dust. She sprinkles and she stirs her black iron pot. You better watch out, cause when she uses all she's got, she goes. Another can done gone. Hi, I'm Paul Salvant with the Bugman Professional Pest Control, and it's game day, baby. Hi, and welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and tonight we're in my kitchen with my sister, Misty Rebelay Thompson, yes. And we're drinking wine and trying to get some food cooked, and everybody keeps interrupting us. So, <laughs> what we're going to do is see if maybe we can make a show. We've got lots of wine in us. We've got a toddler in the house. We'll see what happens. Mister, we have some snapper that we're going to put in the oven with some Parmesan and some swamp dust, of course. And we're going to take some of these lovely yellow squash, 
Cut them and bake and wrap them and put them in the oven as well. Um, I have a veggetti. You want to see my veggetti? I want to see your veggetti. Yes, and we're going to veggetti up some zucchini. Uh huh. Hell yeah! And we're going to cook it with um, some cream sauce with fresh basil from my garden, which has been sitting on the counter all day in a cup because I haven't been able to shoot this show yet. <clears throat> so, and I also have a uh, merlotin. I was recently at a convention where this was the side dish, and it was actually pretty good. So we're going to toss this in a skillet with some swamp dust and butter and lemon, like everything else, and it's going to be fantastic. I got some homemade, some homegrown red bell peppers to put with that. So with all of this and the hot dogs you brought and the chips and queso, we're going to get fed eventually. We're just going to let the camera run and see what happens. Super wild. It's stuck in my head. La la la, it's super wild. Okay, so it's close in. Mm -hmm. For these, uh, I'm gonna set you to work on these after uh, after we get going. Okay. <clears throat> so we can kind of get this going a little faster. Okay. All right, like that. Mm-hmm. Like that. Mm-hmm. Wrapping bacon. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. And then um, we can, yeah, do a little swamp dust on there. Swamp dust a good thing. Why don't we spray that with a little bit of butter first so the swamp dust sticks. Do you have any kind of butter spray or anything? Or oil or something? Which, which kind would you like? I've got this kind, I've got that kind. Uh, probably that one because it's going to be less thick. Just more tacky. There Perfect. we go. Tacky it up. Swamp dust it up. I'll tacky it up, you vegetti it up. All there right. we go. We're going to get the vegetti going in just a second. Now, um, for some reason, the bacon I got, because I wasn't paying attention, is a thicker cut bacon. Yeah, that's very mm. thick. It's very thick. So, um, so you're you saying know. I need to play with the meat first? Yeah, you should definitely play with your meat first. Okay. Yeah, it helps. Okay. And, you know, it doesn't have to be crazy on mm -hmm. each one, mm -hmm. because we want some veggie showing out. Okay. So, all right, so you can handle that. I know that okay. because you've got many degrees and stuff. <laughs> and then I'm going to set the camera back up, and we go vegete. <laughs> Are you impressed with my vegetti? I am so impressed with I your know. vegetti. I think it's I'm a little awesome. envious of your vegetti. You should be envious of my vegetti. But you know what? You can play with it anytime. Yeah, but I'm so <laughs> far away. I know. You're 45 minutes away. I, I, I might to. need to uh, go shop for a vegetti. You should. As You'll should be angry with me. If everybody, I do. yeah, on TV, you should go get. A vegetti. Of your very own. Of your very own to play with. Yeah, because it's it's crazy cool. Because it's nice to have a vegetti close at hand. Yes. Vegettis are very useful. Everyone should have access to a vegetti. Do you need to prime the vegetti first? <laughs> no, actually it's this one's always ready to go. It's ready to go. I'm I mean impressed. it's like it's brand new, so you know it hadn't been worn well, out. Well yeah, yet. yeah. If it hasn't been worn out <laughs> and you don't need yeah. to uh, Oil it up. No, ain't, ain't, don't need to oil it up. It's ready to go. I, I cleaned it too. Aren't you impressed? Look, I'm gonna get out the fine china. Your vegetti is quite clean. It is quite clean, yes. And it's it's really cool. We were playing with it last night. You're totally not getting a show out of this. No. <laughs> or Cox is gonna really enjoy this. Cox is or, gonna like the vegetti. Cox will love the vegetti, as will you tell. Yeah. <laughs> And all the people at home watching us on YouTube on their smartphones, check this crazy stuff out, right? <laughs> watch, watch the center core thing. It gets kind of funny after a minute. <laughs> oh. mm. It just kind of flops around right there. Mm -hmm. But that's normally what happens toward the end. Toward the end of uh, vegetti use, yeah, you yes. do end Lots up with this flopping. Flopping. <laughs> Thing, but yeah, you know, you can just get rid of it afterwards. Yeah, just just toss it when you're trash. done. Trash, yeah, just toss it. It's, it's no good. Anymore. It's no good. It's worthless. Hey, nice Tiz, you wanna come get on my hip again? Well, that's where you belong. That's right. Hi, that's Judy. Mm -hmm. Can I kiss now? Mm -hmm. Kiss now. Kiss now. Yeah, thank Sweetie. you. Thank it's you. It's like a little milk drunk. So what yeah. You what you got? Mm -hmm. Huh? He said, I kept hearing this strange word that I'm going to have to repeat at some point. <laughs> and I'm sure it will not sound like that either. I'm sure we'll be at, like, you know, the doctor's office or something, and he'll just go, the jetty. And it won't be quite the jetty. Right. Kind of like whenever Sean said pumpkin patch. <laughs> yeah, pumpkin patch. So this is how we cook anyway, huh? Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do, Toots, i got a pot over here that's been sitting here. 
all day. So is pot required to use the veggetti? It's not required, but pot is never a bad thing when you're playing with your veggetti. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna put this with some butter, you know, grease it up, and some swamp dust. Yeah, that's gonna cook down a little bit. I forget what we're putting in there. Oh yeah, basil and cream. Good stuff. Let's yeah. Do it. Yeah, uh, mess that up. Oh, and Parmesan cheese. Yeah, baby. So we're adding cream to the veggetti now. Okay. Yes, we are adding cream to the veggetti. Where yes. would that be? That would be behind the Parmesan cheese at the top. So back to the menu at hand. We have the veggetti. We have the snapper. Yes, snapper. Snap, snap. Uh huh. And uh, that the boys went and caught actually uh, off of Grand Isle. They went out and had a boys weekend and caught some got snapper. Lots of snapper. They did. Okay. They did and got it on video. So there you go. That'll be part of tonight's show, I'm sure. They make any money off of that? Uh, no, but it costs a lot of money. Oh, well, it usually does. Yeah, it usually does for the men. Yeah. <laughs> snapper ain't cheap. No, <laughs> snapper ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. We're going to put together, I got some... Well, it depends um, on where you get the snapper. That's true. Some, some snapper's cheaper than others. Right. Yeah. Um, I got some panko crumbs. I got some mayonnaise to make it uh, sticks, kind of like an egg wash. Now, I, I just want to say I'm very happy to be part of your greatest bloopers reel. <laughs> I'm not going to make a show. <laughs> you watch. I'm going to be desperate enough come Sunday to try to turn in a DVD. And I'll be like, mm, I'm just going to let this worth. roll. <laughs> I get 30 seconds worth. <laughs> but that's usually all we get anyway. That's all we get anyway. Um, okay, so I vegetted some cucumbers last night. <laughs> You should have seen trying to vegetti something this large. I don't know how you can handle that. Yeah, you had to cut it in half. Okay. Yeah, I actually have the sad little half so over here that just wasn't going to be vegetti ish. Just the tip? Just the tip. Just, just for a minute? Well, you cut off the tip because the tip is useless. You want the big shaft part. Yeah. And you vegetti that. And I had some pickle juice from the gator pickles in the jar. Um, and you don't throw that stuff away. No. You know? that's so like I put gold. some fresh cucumbers in there and they're all spirally. And I'm hearing this going back here. So I'll give it a little stir. Did I put swamp dust in it? Yeah, I did. Okay. You did. <laughs> so I'm mixing for the uh, coating for our fish to make the breadcrumb stick. I've got mayonnaise, Parmesan cheese, and some swamp dust. And we're going to brush that on the fish with some uh, crunchy crunch. It'd be helpful if I started the oven. Generally, it helps to get your oven warmed up before you try to use it. Yeah. You should definitely, and she, look, she's a nurse. She knows. You can hurt yourself if you don't prepare in advance. I've seen things. <laughs> she's, seen, she's seen things. <laughs> this is the stinkiest Parmesan cheese I've ever smelled. <laughs> Before. <laughs> you know what? We're going to put this on our food and eat it and be happy. Hey, okay. cheese mm. is cheese. That's right. Some swamp dust. And I've never said no to cheese. Mm -mm. Good God Almighty. <laughs> I told you this is stinky. Did you add just straight garlic to that too? <laughs> no, it's just mayonnaise, swamp dust, and <laughs> You're going to eat it and you're going to like it. Hey. It's got cheese in it. I will eat it. <laughs> All right, uh, some beautiful mangrove snapper caught from uh, Grand Isle in the Gulf of Mexico. That snapper is very fresh. It's very fresh. Technically, it just came out of my freezer and I cleaned it up, so it's not quite that fresh. Like if you were to get some fresh snapper fillets from Cajun Catch, they would be fresher. But hey, we got these ourselves, so hunt, gather, cook, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right, so what it is, I cut these up just a little bit to get rid of really thick bloodlines. See, this is a bloodline right here, but it's not too bad. This bigger filet, it's a very large snapper that we have here. Um, it had a huge bloodline that I, I cut off. This, this isn't too bad, but if you actually want your kids to eat some snapper, you should probably cut the bloodlines out. That snapper's very meaty. You see, I washed my hands. Y'all should be proud of me. Okay, so I'm going to take this goofy looking stuff and just kind of spread it on there. But look how... You see how the uh, the that's, creamy coating gets those breadcrumbs on there really that's well. That's some pretty snapper. That's some pretty snapper, for real. With this creamy coating. <laughs> Franklin's like, should I be mic'd up? Because I really want to get in on this. <laughs> no, 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 y'all do fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go around and, and piddle through the house <laughs> with my drill. I'm going to play with my drill a little bit. While you play with your snapper. <laughs> While y'all are in there messing with that snapper. I sure hope this is still rolling. <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. 
And I just hung up on the <laughs> oven. <laughs> Good times, definitely, definitely. See, look at that. And so after some right we're up. done prepping the snapper, mm -hmm. we may make some sweaty balls later. <laughs> we should, we should definitely get some sweaty balls going on in here. And look, I'm all up in this camera. Mm -hmm. That's a nice forearm you got there. Isn't it? Now look, see, I missed some. You should go back and cover that snapper with crumbs. Always cover the snapper thoroughly. You know, we could play snapper Tetris. And <laughs> right, I in there. <laughs> But see, all I got is giant pieces left, and we can do them in the no, skillet. No, that one right there can go here if you move this piece down there. And, you know, <laughs> Tetris. Let's let's Tetris it up. Tetris. 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 Do, 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 do. There we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is snapper Tetris. Snapper Tetris. Yes, indeed. So let's move. The nasty thing over here, we can cook that in a minute. Yeah, and get we'll the dirty the, snapper out of the way. Get the dirty snapper. Dirty, dirty snapper. Dirty. <laughs> I can't wait to put this on Facebook later. All right, let me, let me get the whole shot. You should get the whole shot, yes. Wait, and we need to back up because that's a lot of snapper. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin needs a new. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this later. Franklin cannot handle this snapper. <laughs> The camera couldn't handle the snapper. The, the camera can Okay, there's too much snapper. The camera cannot handle it's a it. Little off balance. Oh, I imagine it, everything tonight is going to be a bit <laughs> off balance. <laughs> Woohoo! Check it out. Uh, okay, bacon wrapped squash snapper. We got the uh, random cucumbers and a leftover pickle juice because <clears throat> that's a professional cooking show right there. Um, well, that's, the Merlot yeah. yeah. Repurposing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and also, let's, um, is this all the, we can do both of these in the veggetti. Are we going to handle two at once with the veggetti? It, I, it, it doesn't do two at once. It doesn't, okay. No, you have to so have you two have to veggettis. Take turns. You have to take turns. With the veggetti. Yeah, let me get some more fine china out uh, for that. Okay. And what I'm going to do while you're veggettiing up the lovely vegetables, mm -hmm. um, I have a Merlotone. Most people like to cut them in half and stuff them. Yep, that's why they call it alligator pear. Similar to other snapping animals. Okay. So we cut it in half. There's a pit in the middle. Got to get it out. And that's why most people stuff mm -hmm. it. <clears throat> and it's kind of got a weird texture on the inside. It's more like a pear than a vegetable on the inside. That's why I call it an alligator pear. Um, you can actually just take some of the skin off of this, throw it in a skillet with some swamp dust and butter and lemon, and it's actually really, really good because it tastes like swamp dust and butter and lemon. Let's do it. Yep. I've never handled a veggetti before, so I might need some guidance. Okay. So here's what you do. You cut both ends off. Oh, my God. It tastes so good. Does this go any further back? Okay, yeah. i got to get this veggetti wide open. Mm-hmm. Right. So push the thing on there. You hold this with mm -hmm. your left hand, mm -hmm. and you um, turn the crank with your right, and you just keep pushing so this way. you have to work the veggetti with two hands. Or a partner. Mm -hmm. We'll try not to burn that wonderful piece of fish. Oh, see? my veggetti's going everywhere. It's going everywhere. We should move the... It's the only thing that survived in my garden is the basil and the mint. Whoop. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta watch out. Now this veggetti's just got a mind of its own. It does. We should move the swamp dust so everybody can... See the demo. And the veggetti is done. It's done. It's only so far it'll go. It won't, you know, it right. stops itself. Am I seriously about to do this? Yes, you are. <laughs> but see, you're trained to handle such things. <laughs> I am a professional. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I've got a cooked piece of fish that's what, finishing Franklin? up. We got some of that. Oh, yeah. It's a little limp. Yes. And then you just pitch it because it's worthless at that point. Yeah. No good. You don't pitch it. It ain't worthless. It can stand back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's done. Well, you know, if you had a shish kebab skewer, you could. You could dip it in pickle juice and it'd be good. It might firm up a little bit <laughs> with the assistance of some gator pickle juice. You could dip it in chocolate. <laughs> mm, chocolate dip leftover zucchini weenie. <laughs> 
I probably should cut this first. Oh, well, I'll just peel it a little bit because uh, <clears throat> Myrtle skin can be kind of tough. But that's why they end up uh, cutting them in half like an avocado and stuffing them, putting them in the oven because the skin holds up for you. I keep trying to go back to a cook and show mode <laughs> like it's going to happen. Happening. <laughs> you might get 60 seconds of footage that's usable. We removed the pit because it just don't get cooked down for you. Just pull it out. Woohoo! Look at that. And see, that's why people like to bake and stuff. You about to break it down? Break it down, Titty. Break it on down up in this kitchen. We're going to do the hot dog dance and everything. And this is definitely not my <laughs> cooking show spatula. Look at this face. It's cool. All right, so we're looking pretty yummy there. Um, let's go ahead and make a plate, and then that way we can feed everybody. Okay. I think you have lots of great video. Mm. Don't know about the audio. No, oh, well. If you stuck around this long, you might as well stay tuned. We're coming right back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Cajun Catch Seafood Market and Deli in Gonzales has everything from fresh seafood on ice to hot crawfish, crabs, or shrimp right out of the boiler. The deli is open weekdays for lunch. Come try their new daily lunch specials, po' boys, burgers, or crispy crunchy fried chicken. You know that if you want it boiled, fried, or stewed, come on down to Cajun Catch Seafood on Ari's Roth next to the fire station in Gonzales. Call 225-647-FISH. Do you have dental insurance? If not, no problem. Here at Absolute Quality Care Family Dentistry, we are excited to offer you our exclusive dental membership plan. By purchasing our plan, you would receive preventive dental services free of charge and other dental services at a greatly reduced price. Our plan was designed for patients, new and existing, that do not have dental insurance, giving you the opportunity to receive same-day treatment. Our dental membership plan is the best option for saving you and your family money. So call us today for more information and begin saving. Taking good care of your vehicle helps your gas mileage, so come on over to Railroad Auto Plaza for regular oil changes and service. Sludging the engine makes it work harder and wear out faster, but Railroad Auto Plaza uses top quality products to make sure that your engine is at peak performance. They have state-of-the-art equipment for wheel alignments, tire sales and repair, state inspections, and great service. Railroad Auto Plaza, on Burnside of the Railroad Tracks in Gonzales. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Today we've been having fun doing an outtake show and we're finishing up right now with our snapper and bacon wrap squash. Recipes, if I remember and actually have somebody watch my toddler, will be on the website at theoutdoorkitchenshow.com. I have thoroughly enjoyed doing our um, wind up vegetti show. Uh huh. We need some more wine. Let's eat a little bit and then throw some hot dogs in a skillet to feed our husbands before they drink too much. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, That's really, really good. Cook some more vegetti. Let's do that. We got some more. Let's do it. We'll see you next time here on the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Mm, let's eat. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's good. Mm -hmm.